Hey everyone, Kevin from MechanicalAdvantage.com. In one of the previous updates that we received for Fusion, I don't recall if this was the September 2017 update or the October 2017 update, we got a nice tool for creating views inside of CAM. And I don't think this has gotten enough credit, so I just wanted to kind of highlight what it does and why you should care if you're doing CAM. In a previous video, I talked about how you can set one home orientation for each workspace. So if I look at the workspaces, I can create a home orientation for each one of those, but the keyword being that I can only create one. In the latest update, we can create something called named CAM views. So here I have a simple part. It has a top side, and it has a bottom side. Let me just click on this and name this bottom side so that we stay consistent. So what inevitably happens to me is that I'll be working on the bottom side setup. So if I click on that, you can see where my ZY axis is. And I'll be doing work, and I'll go over and I'll click on the home button, and the part does that, it flips around. Um, because when I probably when I first started this part, I set the top orientation as my home orientation. And that's kind of annoying to have the part flip around on you like that. So let's take a look at some of the tools that we have. So let's start out with the first one about how you can create whatever default home orientation that you want. I'm just going to change the orientation of this slightly. I'm going to right click on the view cube and say set current view as home. And I want to choose fit to view because I want the part to always fill my screen. If I look at the top side, I might want a specific orientation for the top and then one may be looking straight down. So what I'm going to do is expand out something up here called the cammed name views. And here you can see there's some default orientations that come inside of Fusion. Um, what I want to do is create a couple of my own. To do that, I'm going to right click on cam name views and choose new named view. And now I can name this whatever I want it to name it. And I'm going to call this uh, top side ISO. Now I did something wrong already. Uh, if I rotate this around and I double click on top side ISO, you can see it went to the orientation that I was just in. What I really wanted this to be is in this orientation. So what I can do is right click on this and say update name view. And now when I rotate around and I click on top side ISO, it goes back to the orientation that I want. But note, when I click on the home view, it still has my master home orientation that I created when I went into this workspace. I'd also like to create a view looking uh, straight from the top on this part, so looking straight top down. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and say new name view and I'm going to call this top, I'm going to slow double click on it and call this top side um, ortho. So we're looking straight down at it. Okay, so let me rotate this around a little bit more. Let's figure out a bottom side orientation. So I'm going to right click on here and say new name view. I'm going to slow double click this and call this bottom side ISO. And again, we'll look at it straight from the top, the top orientation for the second side, I should say. Right click and say new named view. Slow double click on this and say bottom side ortho. Go ahead and click enter. I had my, enter, my caps lock key on there, sorry. So now if I click on the home view, it takes me to the default home orientation for this. If I were to click on top side ortho, it takes me to this, to this straight down top view. Top side ISO rotates me around. Bottom side ISO flips me around to my orientation for the bottom. And bottom side ortho takes me to a squared up view. Now, this is a fairly simple part. But if you get a complex part where you're working on multiple sides or multiple faces, uh, this is a great time saver so that you don't accidentally just reach up and click on the home button and get spun around and have to reorient everything. Very quick and easy to just come over to the name views and click on the view that you want and it'll automatically update your view on screen so that you're looking exactly how you want to look at your model. I hope you guys uh, learned something from this. Um, like I said, I think this is one of the, the really nice uh, touches that they put inside of the Fusion Cam. Uh, if you like the video, please go ahead and subscribe. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you.